Non-governmental organizations are the forefront of the campaign on mental well-being for victims of violence across the country have raised the alarm on the dangers of the misrepresentation of activities of the groups in the media. The group insists that there is an urgent need for critical action from media practitioners to change the ugly trend and also to educate humanitarian aid workers on safe practices. Ten years of terrorism, insurgency and banditry have turned Nigeria's northeast into a conflict hotspot for aid organizations. Over a thousand of these organizations are providing critical humanitarian interventions in different communities affected by insurgents. These have lowered the number of vulnerabilities and increased the mental health of the victims of insurgency. If I can donate my funds, I can also advocate for policy changes. I can also speak to a governor. For instance, if I pick this magazine on a flight or on a bus, I'm able to say this is an issue that affects Kaduna, Southern Kaduna or um, Borneo State. Then I'm able to say who are the people in charge. Then I'm able to advocate for policies that can affect the lives of Nigerian citizens in a positive way. Many other humanitarian journalists calls for the review of the existing policy on humanitarian activities to reflect the true nature of the nation. Others speak on plans to introduce local dialects in their subsequent publications to enhance efficient communication among victims of the crisis. In the magazine, you found a um, research story of that's happening in the Northeast about some people and what NGO is doing to help them recover. Now, I don't have to be in the Northeast to experience such, but if I read, if I pick up a copy of the magazine and I read about this, it helps me to understand the importance of what NGO has been doing, and then we also share tips of what they've done, which is um, which is quite helpful. It's really key um, to find a media partner who is, you know, uh, poised with the task of uh, sharing some of those success stories, the things that we see, you know, at the uh, field you know, at the grassroots. They aware of the situation. They know how best to ambulance. They also request for help. But when they don't know what exactly the problem is, they don't request for help. Also, uh, the, the major um, aim of Cost Magazine is to bring this situation to the world. Let everybody be aware of what is going on. And then for these women to have a voice. However, participants at the program canvass for media support in the coverage of activities of NGOs. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.